left to turn, make you straight out the departure runway one to the right. Take off, I'll call your turn to the northwest. Straight out, take off, uh, one zero to the right, you'll call our turn. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be show you another very cool um, car trick, but I just want to know what you guys thought of the new intro. So leave your feedback down below if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, anyways, guys, in just a moment, I'm going to be showing you a very cool car trick that you can do, and you're going to be able to literally learn it right now, and you can perform it either for this trick that I'm going to show you or any other trick that you have in mind. So without further ado, guys, here is the performance. All right, so like I said before, you can do this trick any way you want. It's just going to be a little slight, but if you're going to show it to a spectator, you could do something like this. You have them just pick a card from the deck. Um, and in this case, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the card. All right, so this is going to be your guys' card for the trick. And then what you're going to do is have the spectator put the card into the middle of the deck, as you guys can see. You have them put it into the middle of the deck. You tell your spectators, I'm going to go ahead, take your card, and I want to shuffle it up so your card gets lost, right? The whole point is they pick a card. Okay, you as the magician, you don't know what the card is but you're still going to mix up the deck and lose their card. Now, through a bit of you know shuffling, what you do is you tell your spectators, listen, um, I kind of have a general idea of maybe where your card is, but I don't know 100%, so I'm gonna need your help, right? So we can go ahead and most likely eliminate the top cards, maybe the top four cards of the deck, and then I'm gonna have you touch a card from the middle. So just literally touch any card you want, and let's say you wanted to touch this card, or let's say you wanted to pick this card, right? A completely random card from the middle of the deck. You can see, guys, that that is obviously your card, and you give it to the spectators. So anyways, that is the trick, and if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's how you're going to be able to do the trick. So it's not really, I'm not going to be going into the entire shuffling and controlling of the cards. I will a little bit, but the main part of the trick is being able to share your spectators. You have a card like the Jack of Clubs, Okay, and you take this jack of clubs and you tell your spectators just go ahead and touch any card from the middle of the deck. Let's say they touch this card here, you square it up, boom, and it is the jack of clubs. So it's very, very simple, um, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So obviously, um, like I was showing you before, it basically just starts with whatever card the spectator or whatever card you're trying to force on the spectator needs to be on top of the deck, right? So you start with their card on top of the deck, and what you do is basically you can come up with any pattern. Realistically, you could have one card in your hand and you're just spreading the rest of the deck on top. So basically, let's say you have their card, the Jack of Clubs or whatever. You thumb it over, okay, now just hold it in your hand and then spread the rest of the deck on top and you have the Jack of Clubs below it. So if you look at it from the top, this is the exposed view their card is in your hand, which is the jack, which is the jack of clubs. So let's say you have their card, you hold it in this mechanics grip, whatever, and then you just normally peel over the rest of the cards on top. And the spectators can't really see that, and it's not a big deal if they do if you use the pattern I did. So let's say from the exposed view, you have the jack of clubs. Wherever the spectator says stop, in this case, let's say they want to pick this card here. Well, look, you have your jack of clubs right there. As you can see, it's kind of bent over the cards. That's the jack of clubs. All you do is when you square up the deck, you open up your grip and you slide the jack on top as you square up the cards and boom. Now the jack of clubs, or in this case now the king of clubs, is going to be whatever card they say stop, they say stop right here. You square it up slide that card over and boom in real time the spectator king of uh, king of diamonds you spread it over they say all right i want you to stop right there square it up boom king of diamonds wherever it is so like i said it's a very simple move that i haven't really ut utilized a lot on this channel um so let's say you know like you're doing that trick right you're doing a trick where the spectator picks a card and you miraculously you know you say you're gonna get it mixed up but you keep it on top of the deck right so what you do is you kind of say you know I, I, you know, I've been dealing with cards for a while, so I'm getting a good idea maybe of where your card might be. And this is a great, because obviously the major transition here is how do you get the top card in your hand without looking too suspicious, right? So that's when I say to the spectator, you know what, I highly doubt it's going to be anywhere near the top cards. You know what, let's just, just why don't you just touch a card? 
and that way you're palming you know these you know several cards maybe four three four cards there's selected cards on the bottom they can't see it from the top but you can right there so it's very simple um, and that's when you know it's it gives you a great reason to pry off these couple cards and then you go actually you know what why don't you just yeah why don't you just touch a card and that way you have the setup you need for them to touch a card right here this is their card that they touched reality you have your queen and the moment you square up the deck you slide the queen and the other cards on top and boom there is their card so it's very simple there's a lot of applications you can probably do for this trick um, I hope you guys the best of luck with it let me know how the intro did and um, anyways guys I'll see you in the next video see ya